Hello and welcome to Activating Greatness. I'm Nathan Crane, an award-winning author, documentary filmmaker, and health and wellness expert. And I'm Derek Crane, a certified personal trainer, health and fitness coach, and trainer of professional athletes. Each week, we broadcast new episodes with experts on life, health, fitness, business, and leadership to help you manifest the greatness that's already within you. Activating Greatness is about helping you live your life to your fullest potential and live with more meaning, purpose, health, and fulfillment. In this episode, we are gonna share with you the top five natural anti-inflammatories to help your body recover, heal, reduce inflammation, and reduce pain. Simple things you can get at your local grocery store that you can start taking today that will show quick and powerful natural anti-inflammatory properties to help you heal in a natural way. And before we get into that, we wanna send a huge shout out and thank you to our sponsors for helping make this show possible. Performance tea is something both Derek and I drink and love. One thing we really like about it is that it's handcrafted in small batches and made of the best medicinal herbs. We're both huge believers and consumers of herbs and love the healing benefits that herbal medicine brings to the body. Go to performancetea.com and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount off your order. They have incredible teas for energy, focus, recovery, and balance. Again, that's performancetea.com and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount today. So if you're ready to activate the greatness that's already within you, let's dive into today's episode. Real quick, let's talk a little bit about what inflammation is. Mm -hmm. Some people think inflammation is bad. Actually, inflammation is your body's natural response to heal itself. So typically if you have uh, an infection, an autoimmune disorder, or pain or joint pain, these types of things, what it is is inflammation is your body's natural mechanism mm -hmm. for healing. So it inflames the area, it sends blood there, it sends healing blood cells there so that it can heal quicker. Now, some people experience chronic long-term inflammation, mm -hmm. often because of more of a degenerative issue, and often because of a diet based in mm -hmm. highly inflammatory foods. Things like coffee, meat, processed foods, high sugar, all these things are gonna cause your body to continue to be inflamed, mm -hmm. even when maybe it shouldn't be. So, there is inflammation that's healthy, right? You work mm -hmm. out, uh, real heavy, you're tearing down the muscles, uh, your body you know, inflames the area, rushes blood there, it's gonna help heal it, and then the inflammation should go away. But if the inflammation is staying there long term, you've got more of a long term problem. And these herbs we're gonna share with you, these natural anti-inflammatories, are gonna help you no matter what. They're gonna help your body heal faster and it's gonna reduce that inflammation, which is gonna help you recover faster, which is also going to help the pain uh, go away faster. So. Let's talk about what these five things are, share some science behind them, and then I'm gonna share with you at the end how a, a really simple drinking put together, we can take this first thing in the morning and get the power of them right away every single day. So Derek, why don't you share the first couple of uh, natural anti-inflammatories we wanna talk about? Yeah, definitely. I'm excited about these herbs going right into it. The first one here is turmeric. And turmeric is a root grown throughout Asia, India, Central America, uh, traditionally used in Ayur Ayurvedic medicine, specifically for its natural anti-inflammatory effects. Right. And what I like to do with it is, I just like to even add it into my food. Like just even have the turmeric powder, add it into my rice dishes, anything of that nature. You can commonly find it in dietary supplements as well. Um, but the when diving into turmeric, why is it a natural anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. is because it has compounds called curcuminoids. Within that specifically, there's a compound called curcumin. So you'll see, you'll see a lot of dietary supplements have just that extracted version from turmeric itself. Right. And that's where it has its natural anti-inflammatory effects. Specifically, a study here that involved arthritis, anything with Itis in it means inflammation. Mm -hmm. Arthritis is specifically within the joints, inflammation within the joints. Um, it swells up the joints. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis can be debilitating. And so in this double blind crossover study involving 18 young patients with rheumatoid arthritis, 
the cur- curcumin's effect was compared to a prescription drug. Mm. And after after just two weeks, they were ingesting 1.2 grams of curcumin on a daily basis. Their joint swelling went down, stiffness went down. It actually had the same positive effects as the prescription drug without any side effects. Yeah. So that's huge when thinking about prescription compared to something that's natural is that you're getting the benefits without, you know, huge list of side effects that happens. Let's talk about the side effects real quick because I pulled up um, some scientifically proven side effects of the most common steroid type uh, anti-inflammatories, which is what your doctor typically is going to prescribe you if you have inflammation. And here's what they are. Increased risk of infection, dermatitis, impaired wound healing, so actually impairs the healing of your wounds, Mm -hmm. increased appetite, fluid retention, edema, weight gain, fat deposits in the face, chest, upper back, and stomach, uh, mood change, hypertension, depression, hyperglycemia. Sounds like one of those bad prescription drug (laughs) commercials, right? Adrenal suppression and crisis, cataracts, stomach ulcers, osteoporosis, and the list goes on. So, Mm -hmm. yes, the healing benefits of the natural without the side effects. That's why this is so important. So true, so true. Thank you for sharing. And then the other one would be black pepper. So going from turmeric with specifically curcumin within turmeric, uh, diving into the next one here is black pepper. Now, black pepper actually increases the bioavailability of curcumin itself. So curcumin just taken in its own form by itself, it is poorly absorbed through the bloodstream. Now, when you combine black pepper with it, it becomes 2,000 times more bioavailable. So, like, wow. those nutrients are then being absorbed. It's like a carrier. Yeah. You know? And so, specifically within that, within black pepper is piperin. So, it, in the studies, it shows that it increases the bioavailability of curcumin by that 2,000% marker. That's huge. So, you want the benefits, natural anti-inflammatory benefits of curcumin, make sure you're combining it with black pepper. There's three others that Mm. we're going to share with you as well that you want to combine with both of these. The first is ginger, Mm. and you've probably heard ginger is natural anti-inflammatory. Why? Because it has something called gingerol, which is the main bioactive compound in ginger, and that's responsible for much of its medicinal properties, um, the anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant properties, Mm. um, and it's been shown scientifically to be effective against exercise-induced muscle pain. So basically, you know, you're sore after working out. Why? You just tore down your muscles. Mm -hmm. Take ginger. Take these anti-inflammatories. It's going to help recover, rebuild your muscles. Again, it's going to help your joints um, and any any area in your body that has inflammation. Um, uh, A study on ginger, there was one just consuming consuming two grams of ginger per day, which is not very much, for Mm -hmm. 11 days. Significantly reduced muscle pain in people performing uh, elbow exercises, for example. Another study, it was a controlled trial of 247 people with osteoarthritis of the knee who took ginger extract. They had less pain and required less pain medication. And these things compound over time. So mm-hmm. you might go to the doctor, you might get a painkiller or, or a steroid, and within 48 hours, you might start feeling better, mm-hmm. but long term, you're going to experience the side effects. Right. Whereas with natural anti-inflammatories, you might not feel better right away. It might take weeks or months to feel better. But guess what? That compounds over time without the side effects and the long-term healing benefits. So, you know, pick which makes the most sense for you. For us, natural is the way to go. The next one that you want to add into your diet is cayenne. There's a Mm -hmm. study done on mice with high blood pressure that showed the long-term consumption of dietary spices containing capsaicin, which is the main ingredient in cayenne, known for its uh, natural anti-inflammatory and healing properties, helped reduce the blood pressure uh, in the mice. Additionally, there's more studies that have been done uh, specifically with cancer, and capsaicin can slow the growth of cancer cells and even cause cell death for many different types of cancer, including prostate, pancreatic, and skin cancer. Um, Cayenne, Mm -hmm. along with other hot chili peppers, have been praised for their health benefits for many, many, many years, even before science confirmed all of this. And all chili peppers, like cayenne, they contain the natural compounds called the capsaicinoids. Um, and these are what gives the, the fruit, it is a fruit, by the way, 
gives the fruit its natural anti-inflammatory properties. So yes, it can be spicy. Um, if you're not used to spicy, you start with smaller amounts of it and then build it up over time and you actually get used to it. It has so many other properties as well we won't go into, but it's high in certain vitamins. Um, it's a good source of like vitamin B6, great source of um, vitamin A and other great vitamins, which all of these roots and herbs and natural medicines are high in other things, antioxidants, vitamins, mm -hmm. minerals, these types of things, which helps your body heal faster. Um, and the fifth one we're going to share with you is cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, uh, again, the studies have shown that uh, it has anti-inflammatory properties and it uh, reduces swelling. Mm -hmm. Many of the phytonutrients present in the raw cinnamon, they have potent anti-inflammatory compounds. Cinnamon is loaded with antioxidants, flavonoids, um, which really help reduce inflammation in the body, also help rebuild your immune system, make mm -hmm. you stronger, prevent, fight off diseases, infections, things like that. Um, and the main component, one of the main components in cinnamon is cinnamaldehyde, and it's known to inhibit certain proteins that are factors in causing inflammation. Mm -hmm. So what happens here is that your body's rushing to create inflammation for healing, yeah. maybe an acute situation, but... Uh, if that acute situation actually doesn't heal, it becomes a chronic situation. Mm -hmm. And so this is where these natural anti-inflammatories are going to help short-term and going to help long-term no matter what situation you're facing. So a drink I want to share with you, you can take every morning. This is something that I take. You've had it. Yeah. What do you think about it? It's delicious. It's delicious. And being able to have it first thing in the morning, you're right away telling your body, hey, let's help ourselves get rid of this inflammation. Absolutely, so yeah. great thing, taking the morning uh, to start your day, it actually helps activate your metabolism well, which is cayenne is really good for that. Um, helps you to start burning fat and to have more energy and clarity. That's why it's the first thing I put in my body every single morning. I mix all five of these together. So um, I just buy the organic powders, you know, you can find organic powders pretty much anywhere you are at any natural grocery store. Um, and I mix equal parts of all five of these. So I get a plastic container and I put a quarter cup of each, mm -hmm. quarter cup of ginger, quarter cup of cinnamon, quarter cup of cayenne, quarter cup of black pepper, quarter cup of turmeric, okay? Now, if again, the spice is a little bit too much for you in the beginning, do half cayenne and half black pepper and then build up to equal parts over the next few months, right? Mm -hmm. um, Start start with this drink small. You don't have to start with a quarter cup. You can start with a tablespoon of each. Anyway, I put it in a container and then mix it real well with a spoon. Yeah. So still the dry herbs, right? Mix up my powder. And then each morning, I can just take um, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. You can start with a quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, work up to a full teaspoon. Um, of the mixed powder, I put it in warm water like a tea. Um, and then I add a little bit of honey and fresh lemon or lime. Mm. So it's the five herbs, it's the lemon, which again is helping with digestion, it yeah. makes it taste good, and then some honey to sweeten it up a little bit because some of these herbs are bitter. And until you get used to bitters, it might be strong for you, but actually my body loves them so much that I look forward to that drink every morning and it tastes so delicious for me and I know how much healing benefits I'm getting from it. So um, again, start with a quarter teaspoon of the mix, mm work up to a half teaspoon. I do just about a full teaspoon every morning now. Um, again, and I squeeze half a lime or lemon, a little bit of honey, warm water, drink it down. Woo! Yeah. Such a good way to start the day and a good way to get all your natural anti-inflammatories first thing in the morning. Sounds delicious. I want a cup right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just just know that the more that you add into this, like one thing that I'll do is is, is take some of these herbs like turmeric and black pepper, ginger, I mean all of it really, cinnamon, cayenne, and just be able to start even adding it into your foods. Like when you're cooking, being able to incorporate it into your daily life. The more that you do, the better results that you'll see with starting I mean, if you're doing nothing, then starting out light, as you said. Well, that's it for today's episode. Our hope and desire is that you get as much out of these interviews and episodes as we do. Each week, you can count on us being here to help you activate the greatness that's already within you. And we can all do that by continuing to develop and grow our minds, bodies, emotions, and connection to a higher purpose. Please make sure to share this with your friends on Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, and Instagram. Tag Crane Factor and use the hashtag activating greatness so we can continue growing this community together 
and changing the world for the better. And a huge shout out to our sponsors for making this show possible. Head over to performancetea.com to try their recovery, balance, focused, and energy teas. These teas are made from incredible healing herbal plants that help your body heal, gives you natural energy, helps prevent disease, and help you feel better in every way. Again, that's performance tea, that's T-E-A, performancetea.com, and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount off your order. That code works on their website, and it also works on Amazon. Again, activate 15, and you'll get a 15% discount off of these amazing teas. We appreciate you tuning in and for supporting our sponsors who make this show possible. Remember, you already have greatness within you. You just need to activate it. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you on the next episode.